Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of tutorial video and I'll talk about how to take screenshots on your Windows computer or laptop. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in tutorial videos, there will be links in the description box below. So there are a few ways you can take uh, screenshots on Windows and I'm going to go over uh, most of them today and I have some notes which I'll show you uh, shortly. So there are several ways you can take a screenshots on Windows and I'll try to be simple and brief so you don't you know get confused or uh, it doesn't seem to be difficult. It's fairly simple and I'll just you know give you all the details you need to know so I'm just going to open up my notes uh, and this is to, just to help you and I'm going to put the same uh, you know notes in, in the description box below so before even you start taking screenshots you need to do a few things and then that's what I'm going to show you the first thing so the first thing you need to do you have to have your clipboard on your computer ready and you can open your clipboard just by clicking here which is the search uh, box or the magnifier you know uh, icon so you click on here and type for clipboard so C L I P so even you don't have to type the clipboard just type clip and you're going to see that you know clipboard settings is the match so if you click on here then this is going to take you to the clipboard screen and the first thing you're going to be doing is turning this on so I already have it on because you know I uh, turned it on before but if yours is off so turn it on and another thing you need to know that you're going to be using Windows logo key and V sign uh, or you know you have to press Windows logo key and V together to clip uh, to view your uh, clipboard history and paste from it so you're going to be using this command which is Windows plus V so just you know remember that for later okay so that's the first thing you need to do then the second thing you're going to be doing is that you need to know how to access your files Explorer or your files uh, you can do it several way the first way you can just click on here uh, you know this icon right here which looks like a folder so if you click on it and it's going to open up this page which is your file explorer and you can also open a file explorer explorer another way which is to go to the search button and type f i l e and then you can see that you have the file explorer match so if you click on it then you're at the same page and now here you're going to click on pictures which is right here this PC so click on it and then here you're going to see a folder for screenshots so if you click on it it's right now empty but when we have our screenshots that's where you're going to be finding them so I just wanted to show you ahead and then another thing you're going to be doing is that you need to know or you need to have an image editor which is we are going to be using Microsoft Paint and in order to open this all you have to do is just go to the search box again or the magnifier icon and search for paint so if you just search for paint you're gonna see a match and then just click on it and then this is going to open an image editor which is the Microsoft image editor It's called Microsoft Paint uh, you can use other image editor. I, I haven't tried that on you know Microsoft computers, but I have a feeling I believe it's going to any image editor is going to work, but most people use just the like you know default uh, editor, which is the Microsoft Pen paint, and that's what I'm going to uh, be talking about today. So the first way you can do a screenshot is you know there's a button on your computer or on your keyboard which is going to be on the upper right side usually it's on the top of the number signs and sometimes it comes like PRTSCN or you will see P print SCR uh, it could be something else but usually these are the most common you know name on that button so you have to press that button and what happens that when you press it is going to print the entire screen 
not just like you know any partial screen or anything this is going to print the entire screen and we're going to do it very shortly and sometimes just a note that you know uh, your keyboard may have that this button print screen attached to a function button so in that case you have to you know uh, press function and that button together if it says that you know uh, it's highlighted on that button or sometimes it can be an stand a stand alone button button uh, what it means that you know you just have to press that button or some on some keyboards it comes with a function button so that way you have to uh, press the function and that button together so I'm going to minimize this and let's say we're going to you know uh, print this whole screen so I'm going to print the print screen button on my keyboard and on my keyboard actually it comes with a function button so I'm going to have to press them simultaneously so function and print screen now what happened you cannot see anything on the monitor but it already captured the whole screen the entire screen so you're going to see that in the clipboard so clipboard is kind of a bank where it's like you know depositing your temporary screen prints so I'm going to press Windows and V and this is going to bring up our clipboard so Windows and V and you can see that you know we have the clipboard and it shows here that the entire screen we just you know took a screenshot of but in order to use this we need to open the you know paint or Microsoft paint or image editor so we're going to bring up our Microsoft paint so if you click on here and then what you're going to do you're going to press on Windows and V to bring up the clipboard and then if you click here then you can see that you know it pasted the clipboard or the screenshot from the clipboard on the Microsoft uh, Paint image editor and from here you can just like you know take whichever part you want and you can like you know um, crop it or you can just like you know uh, make some changes so that's how that's one way to do a screenshot or print screen on your computer the second way you can do a print screen uh, or screenshot is uh, to press the Windows key and the print screen so the difference between number one and number two is that uh, with number two it saves automatically you don't have to actually copy from a clipboard and still it's doing the entire screen it's not like in a partial screen but uh, you can just like you know uh, get your file uh, going to the folder which I showed you before so uh, in order to do that so what you have to do is you have to press uh, Windows logo and the print screen key so actually uh, here let me just put Windows okay so let's uh, do the print screen of the whole screen so we're going to press you know Windows and then okay so you saw that the screen was dim for a seconds what it means that uh, it works and now uh, you know you should have a screen uh, shot uh, or screen print in the folder uh, which I showed you before so it's going to be the screenshots inside the folder uh, pictures folder under this PC and if you just click on it it's going to open it so you can see that you know you have the full screen uh, shot here and then you can just like you know uh, crop it or uh, you can uh, you know uh, take parts from it you also need an editor and uh, um, either Microsoft paint or the photo right now which it opens so you can just like you know uh, edit and make changes from here so it's the same like the other one but the difference is that you know it's just saving you directly without uh, going through the hassle of copying from the clipboard so this is our option two so now let's move on to option three the third way to take a screenshot or you know uh, Windows screenshot would be to print the alt and print the screen button so the difference between number three and number one and number two that here you are just screenshotting the active window not the whole screen so what I mean by active window that you know if you click on this uh, inside this uh, screen 
and you can see that kind of is kind of highlighted here and these are not highlighted anymore so that means right now this is the active window but if you click inside this page then you can see that you know this is the main window and this is kind of in the background so this is now the active window but not this one so your active window is the main window you're working at that moment or where you have your cursor clicked on it and that's the active window so for example this is our active window okay so number three only would screenshot the active window and then you know this is uh, going to be again you have to use the uh, clipboard it's not going to save automatically uh, like number two so you have to just use the clipboard uh, and then you have to open again uh, Microsoft Paint or an image editing tool to work on your uh, screenshot so for example let's make this uh, window active window and then we're going to click on uh, alt and print the screen button so the alt button is going to be kind of like you know on the left of your uh, space button on the keyboard and the same print the screen button so let's do alt and print screen now we should have uh, this window only on our clipboard so let's open the clipboard and see if it works and you can see that you know it worked here uh, which is the active window now I'm going to open the Microsoft uh, paint image editor and let's open the clipboard again so if I click on it uh, on here uh, this should transfer the image to the Microsoft paint so click on it and you can see that you know I have the active window uh, right here so right now I'm just going to you know uh, work on this one so you can just like you know uh, uh copy or you can save it or you can just like you know cut part part of it or you can just like you know crop it so that's how you can do a screenshot by using the number third option which is the alt plus print screen and this is only for active window and still you have to use the clipboard and you have to save on your own it doesn't get saved automatically uh, like number two so that's number this is number three now let's move on to number four the number four we can use the snipping tool to uh, take windows screenshot so this is a very old tool and windows keeps telling that you know this is not going to be available in the future but uh, they have been telling it for a few years or for long but it still it doesn't go away so i have a feeling that you know they're going to keep it and i heard that even windows 11 has this option uh, what they did the snipping tool is not going to be in the app list uh, windows list of apps anymore so you can access it, access that by going to the you know search bar which is the same uh, like i showed you before so click on the magnify button and type for snip and you're going to see the snipping tool and if you click on it then you're going to see this message that snipping tool is moving and this is what i was telling just now that you know they have been telling that this is going to go away for many years but still it stays so now if you have this small window then you're going to see two options one is new and another one is mode if you click on the mode button then you're going to see a few options and you have like you know free form snip rectangular snip window snip full screen snip now when you have like you know the selection is here window snip then it's going to snip the whole window like the way just we did before when you click on uh, new but let's say if i click on free form snip now you can see that i have kind of a scissor and you can actually uh, kind of like you know draw something or cut something that uh, let's say like you know i want to cut this portion or i want to screenshot this now you know i'm just moving it with the scissor by holding the left uh, mouse button and if i release that then you can see that you know it's just giving you the screenshot of what you're cutting by moving the scissor so that's how it works then if you go back to rectangular and then if you click new then here it's just going to give you the rectangular size and then if you just like you know hit no and if you open up the snip snipping tool again then the other option you can see here that full screen snip 
and full screen snip is you know the entire screen and window snip is going to be the active window so basically that's how you can uh, use this now the snipping tool also saves like you know one copy in the uh, clipboard or you have to just save like you know manually because you have the file already so for example if I do full screen snip and then you have to go to the file and save from here so it doesn't get saved automatically so you have to save on your own so that that is just something to remember now let's move on to the last one so the fifth option is snip and sketch and this is the final option and this is what you know windows is trying to everyone to use because this is the newer version of the snipping tool app and you can access it several ways for example uh, you can use the command button which is windows plus shift plus s and then you can find this in the alphabetical uh, list of apps uh, on your computer uh, like you know if you open up here then you're going to find it here like you know if you go up to for the uh, s and then you can find it in the notification panel which is right here so if you click on here and this is going to be under sc uh, screen snip right here and then you can find it also by doing the search in the search button so you just click s n i p then you can see that you know you're getting the snipping tool the first but the second one is snip and sketch so you can find it several ways and let's uh, click on the notification button and then you're going to click on snip uh, tool and then here you have the snipping tool now you can see that you see these four options on top of the screen and these are basically the same options we had before in the snipping tool for example the rectangular snip the uh, freeform slip snip where you can like you know cut or select uh, which you want to snip and then this is the window snip which is like you know the active window and then here this is the full screen snip so it works the same way like uh, the snipping tool from here so let's say if you choose the window snip and if you just you know click here and then it's going to you know uh, save the window in the clipboard so let's open the clipboard and you can see that we have these in the clipboard and I'm going to open the Microsoft paint actually I'm sorry I'm going to open the uh, screenshot folder just to show you that it's not saving to the screenshot folder so what do you have to do we have to open the Microsoft uh, paint again and then you just need to you know uh, go to the clipboard and then you can just transfer here and then you can just work from here so it looks like it doesn't save uh, give you the option or open the you know file directly like the snipping uh, tool so you have to just go through this extra step to you know work on the Microsoft paint and then save it so I'm going to just you know open the clipboard again and if I click on it and you're just pasting it on the word document so yeah it doesn't open up as a separate uh, image or JPEG like the way we had it with the snipping tool so basically these are the ways you can take screenshots on uh, Microsoft Windows computers or laptops so I'm going to putting these uh, I'll put this in the description box below for your um, convenience and you can just like you know uh, use whichever you like uh, it's very easy to do and I you know uh, made it very clear here that which one is for what so you can just you know uh, keep an eye uh, to check which one you need to do or you can just like you know uh, revisit the video whenever you need to take a Windows uh, screen print or screenshot and you forgot how to do it so that's all for today Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.